You talk about liberals and conservatives as if they were they were sort of equally ideologically and self-contained camps. Do you fit into either one of those? No, I'm a militant moderate. I, I borrow from both. For instance, I am, as I mentioned, uh, uh, immigration reform, gay marriage, and abortion are all things that that's why I voted for Barack Obama three times. On the other hand, I, I, I th and, uh, and I hate Benghazi. The Benghazi has become pornographic. I think the way they flog the Benghazi non-scandal, I think it's really very unfortunate on the right-hand side. Uh, but I, I, I think that, for, for instance, hip-hop. Hip hop has done more damage to black and brown people than, than racism in the last 10 years. When you, when you find the youngster, a Puerto Rican from the South Bronx or a black kid from Harlem, who has succeeded in life other than being the one-tenth of one-tenth of one percent that make it in the music business, that's, that's been a success in life walking around with his pants around his ass, and with uh, you know visible uh, uh, tattoos or you know it's, it is this whole ethos. And I, I love Russell Simmons. He's a he's a dear friend of mine. I, I admire his business acumen. At some point, those guys have to cop to the fact that by encouraging this distinctive culture that is removed from the mainstream, they have encouraged people to be so different from the mainstream that they can't participate other than, you know, uh, the racks and the garment center and those entry level jobs. And I, I lament it. I really do. I think that it has been very destructive culturally. Okay, just uh, there are a lot of directions I can go there, but I don't want to go down an entire an entire racial hole because there are a lot of potential explanations for why there is there is alienation of minority communities. In oh the yeah, absence this, of course, of hip hop. Is. But I I think that fashion plays a part. 